But I'd add as a corollary to that, you have to get population under control as well, because if you look at it in sheer economic terms, how can you sustain increases in per capita income at a time when you have rising population without rising economic growth, whereas if you have a declining um, population, which is what I would aim for, then of course even a stable economic growth situation will give you increases in per capita income. So that's where I stand on do, that. Do you, do you have a sense of what the carrying capacity of Britain is or of the, uh, uh, of the world as a whole? Or? Well, Britain, I put it at 10 or 15 million. Um, I, mean, <laughs> I think that would be absolutely fine. I mean, that would do us really splendidly. At, at, at a limit, 2025, I think it's complete nonsense that we are now confronted with an islander, would you believe it, of 70 million, 70 million people. I wrote a paper, I think it's the only paper the Conservative Party has ever published, and it was published as an old Queen Street paper in, in June 1972, oddly enough, and it was called uh, Britain Needs a Population Policy.